Nick, thank you. We continue our team coverage now. Charleston Street crews have been getting ready for this morning's commute. Eyewitness News reporter Allison Scott joins us live now with more on the current conditions. Allison, you've been several different places this morning, downtown, Kanawha City, North Charleston, too. How are things? Yeah, Jennifer, honestly, being here in North Charleston, we're on the corner of 7th Avenue and 29th right here, and this is the most icy I have seen all morning. You can see that shine right there on the road. We've seen cars turn down this road, have to take a little bit slower around the turn, and even where I'm standing on this sidewalk, if maybe you'll be walking, it is icy out here. And these boots have a pretty good grip, so we know that you'll definitely have to play it safe. Some of those salt trucks were out as early as last night, making sure that the roadways were safe. But still, I spoke with dispatch just a few minutes ago, and they said that there were quite a few crashes last night, and they're already looking at about three here in the county. Just this morning, we know that that may pick up with these slick roads and the icy roads throughout the morning as more people get out there this morning. Charleston uh, road crews had said that when it comes to storms like this, that the department can use between 300 to 500 tons of salt. And I have seen multiple salt trucks out so far this morning, definitely trying to get some of those roads and definitely bridges and overpasses. Make sure that you are driving safely and give yourself plenty of time, especially to warm up your car and maybe even scrape off some of that ice. Always be prepared in case anything could happen if there's a crash. So dress warm. I have multiple layers on. It's cold and windy out here, so I even grabbed those snow pants this morning because we will be out giving you a look throughout the county of what the road conditions are. So stay with us for that. For now, reporting live here in North Charleston, Allison Scott, Eyewitness News. Allison, we appreciate that. Thanks a lot. And be sure to